One thing I like to do when I'm teaching step scanning is turn on single shot mode. So right now, um, single shot mode is not turned on on my Praetorian and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if our student is learning to come on to the switch and come off, in the perfect world, they'd come on to it Red, purple, and come pattern. off and it would only move it one Blue spot. Daisy. Red plaid. But we don't live in the perfect world and often they'll go on to the switch and come Blue off Daisy. and it's gone kind of all over, right? It's gone too fast. Red, and then Red release. Plaid. And then it's not going like in order. It's moving around too fast. So to stop that from happening while our students are learning to kind of finesse that motor movement, we can turn on single shot mode. So um, I'm in channel one right now. I'm going to hold down this button until I see three lines. There we go. And then I'm going to hit mode. And I just want the single little dash there, that single shot mode. Now I'm going to move to the next channel, channel two. I'm going to hit mode. Perfect. I'm on single shot mode. I could do that for all of my channels if I wanted to. Next channel. Perfect. So now I'm on single shot mode on everything. You can just leave it for a second and it'll re not reset, but the screen will go back to normal. Um, so now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Purple pattern. Oh, and I just released there and it wasn't going crazy. Orange circles. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So you want to make Blue sure days. that you turn on that single shot mode when your learner is just getting started with step scanning because it will reduce a lot of frustration for them and they can just kind of learn to finesse that uh, movement over time without having the cursor go crazy um, while they're trying to come off of the switch.